All right, so Deep Jump Garage has got the uh, race car build. What we're going to do is we're going to do a Racing Champions 55 Chevy, and we're probably going to gas it. So let's get her stripped. So I got the post drilled, got it taken apart, pretty simple body, base, interior, and we're going to lose those wheels. Put it in the citrus strip. Going to get it all cleaned off. So I'm going to uh, use a wire wheel and a stainless one. Uh, I do plan on doing a polish on it. But I just, I don't know how the, the paint that I'm going to use, I'm not sure how it's going to react. So I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and use the flits. I like the flits. I do use uh, the Blue Magic too. It, it works just as well. I think the flits is a little bit better. But like I said, um, the, the type of paint that I'm going to, uh, to use, the, the technique that I'm going to use, I don't know without putting a, a, a base coat down. Uh, I don't know if using a, a, a polished base would will be better so I'm just gonna go ahead and polish it anyway so the flitz has done its job it's pretty much got a nice uh, high gloss shine to that and now I'm gonna put it in a little bit of bleach and get rid of that chrome on the base all right I got the 55 out of the paint <clears throat> what I did was I used some of this uh, Jim Holtz uh, alcohol, ink, and pearl. Mix it up in my two to one uh, clear to hardener uh, mix. Put in basically put in this whole bottle. Uh, it's a half ounce. It's a half ounce bottle of that. Put the whole bottle in this. I believe this like a two ounce maybe. Uh, but I filled it up about halfway with uh, clear dumped in the pearl and then uh, as soon as I uh, get ready to paint put this in and then I'll put in my hardener in my brush I'm not sure if you guys can really tell but that's that's some pearly stuff but it's not really a you know like a like a flake or a real um, a real big uh, you know uh, speckle it's real subtle and I'm hoping that you could you can tell uh, I'm not sure if it'll focus in on that there we go it's a little bit better it's more of a, a, a appropriate kind of a uh, Kind of a flake metal flake in there for these 164s i i think just the way it looks uh, it's not overpowering like you know some of the stuff that, that we get to use like some of that like that hot rod hot rod fleck or something i don't have any of it by Createx. um the pearlized uh is basically kind of like that i like that um, but I don't like when they when they have you know large flakes in them. It just it doesn't look doesn't look as good. And I didn't even have to I didn't have to do a, a clear coat over. But what I, what I do want to do is I want, I want to put a a white top back and the sides here all the way up. So I need to mask off for, for that. And then I got a shit pot of decals that I'm put on and to change plan, I'm not gonna gas it. It's gonna be an oval racer. So let me get on with the masking. They'll do some decals and I'll be right back. Oh, and the base was all chrome, did the bleach, came right off, no problem. Got some wheels. Uh the there we go. Got some wheels for it, some Goodyears. 
I'm going to put, uh, or I'm, I'm going to white out the uh, rims. We'll be about done. So I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I got the, uh, the masking done. I got the white trim and trunk and roof. Came out pretty good. Going to do some detail here. Some chrome detail there. That's a body line. Won't touch that. Uh, I've got to do some decal work. I'm going to let this uh, top dry. Uh, i got a bunch of decals that I need to uh, get to going on. And then I'll shoot another clear. And uh, we'll be close to getting ready to put it all back together. Alright, I got all the decals on, got the top painted, put a nice clear coat on it, I really like the finish that came out, it's got a nice high shine to it, nice gloss on there, I used, a, used my typical automotive clear, the two part two to one clear and hardener and then on the on the interior the interior there were no for the base the base was flat it didn't have any any of the little clips on it I did a little minor detail on the underside but the interior you can see I put, put a little roll bar in there use my model blocks but if I can get this in here focused it had the little uh, had the little slots for the original wheels And I had to had to waller them out a little bit, and then I just dabbed some glue in because the wheels are the wheels are free on the axle on the model blocks, so that axle could stay stationary. Did just little little detail on that interior, not not too not too much. Did the glass got a nice nice shine to it so what we're going to do is we're going to get this assembled do some glamour shots put it on the turntable see what you guys think of it i want to thank everybody for checking out this episode of 164 revival special shout out to deep junk garage putting on this race car challenge everybody be safe be well be kind until next time this is jeff once again.